Hey everybody, this is Way to Fail, back with more Civ 5 as Babylon, where I have had one of the crummier starts that I've had to the game in quite some time. My starting location is kind of meh, it does have two luxury resources, but I'm going to have to clear some jungle for it, which actually means I should probably go for uh, masonry first, just so I can clear that. And then maybe bronze working, maybe philosophy down here. But I want to find a third city location, and right now it's going to probably have to be to the west at this point. In fact, I'm hoping it's to the west, because my locations are not too good. And 20 culture, finally something good. Actually, northwest might not be terrible. But yeah, let's start by clearing this barbarian camp. It'll help me make amends with La Venta, which would be nice. I don't even need to do anything with you just yet. And then... Yeah, it doesn't look like there's much danger for me other than a Indonesian archer, so I should be able to get down here just fine. Barbarian camps are not going to spawn unless I cannot actually see the tiles, so wow, I do. Okay, so I think I just found my next city spot right there, especially where uh, the AI has not really explored a lot to the west. So that tells me there's not a lot of AI here. This looks like a really good spot for a city. It's not too far away. Settling on the jungle might not be bad, but between gold horses and plains with wheat, like I said, I'd prefer more grasslands, but the jungle bananas, jungle bananas within range. That looks like a really good spot, so we're going to maybe try and make sure that everything around it is okay. So let's start with the bombardment. Get the valuable experience early. Like I said, I don't expect this guy to be promoted into a uh, swordsman or anything, but... My influence has increased by 50, so now they're only a little angry at me. Maybe Ragusa by now has a uh, another great war or another great person. I don't know, but unless I mean, I'm kind of thinking between up here's good. I've got like I should have double checked my citizen management here, because once again, the goal here is always to grow. So mining is good, but one production, three gold. I'd rather have one food, one production. It's not actually going to change the settler at all, so it doesn't matter too much just yet. So I'm going to do something that's a little on non-standard. So we have the scout up here, really? Okay, we have a scout and we have a stolen barbarian worker. So I think we actually will send this archer up that way ever so slowly, and let's send you closer to the protection of the city. I mean, with these hills here, I should be able to see any barbarian threat that's coming. Should be able to. And we have Gustavus Adolphus of Sweden. Probably coming from the southwest. So we'll trade embassies with Gandhi. He's not going to do anything till later in the game where he nukes everybody. Alright, so really, you are going to just stand there on the tile. That stinks a little, so we'll just go this way. That's, a, that's actually a lot of barbarians little bit of a cause for concern but let's go ahead and make that something useful so yeah I have a feeling we need to clear out some of this in just a little bit get at least some garrison down here need a more military presence down on the bottom so it doesn't matter too much with Sweden so he's to my southwest and we are not very happy right now but once I get two wines online Shouldn't be too much longer, actually. Let's let you heal. Let's let you fortify. And if he comes a knocking, I'll come a bowing. So that's your quick farm. And not too bad. Like I said, you, you always kind of just want a good third city spot. Not too far from the capital. This will actually spread pretty nicely. So let's see. I cannot. Oh, I can fire up the hills. Nice. But I do not want this scout to die, so we will heal you up. And I guess I could send my warrior to the west. I don't really need the garrison there right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so Swede's going to get the... Uh, he's going to be able to pop the ruin here. It's a little annoying. But what can you do? Just looking for a possible better city spot here. Wow, did he actually miss the ruin? Oh, silly AI. Let's see, do we have... There we go! Advanced weaponry. 
So I have a second bowman, which is nice. I want to really save that worker. And we're pretty good. That's going to be one luxury and then farm. Because I want to trade the luxury to get that on. We're going to have another settler here in just a minute, so... Might as well see what's west as well. Right now my... What? Weird trade. You have a luxury resource I'd like. What do you think of this offer? I think that offer's fair. So that'll give me more happiness. And Gustav is not typically a warmonger that I've seen, so... Of what I've seen. So let's see here. One... So this is, uh, this is actually my scout. So we should be able to do this okay. Get two up there. And actually, okay, first off, this tile needs to be worked. And while I can trade some more luxury resources here, I do want to get the farm up first. This is just all kinds of golden plains of, hey, these are really good spots to settle. I would be inclined to agree. Any of those would be good. Actually, settling on the jungle might be better because it still leaves a lot of things in range. So we'll just... I mean, I have some time to decide. But three cities is going to kind of limit me. I don't want to go too far. So let's see what we can get here. Okay, so more coast. And can I go ahead and bombard? No. Not over that hill. Alright, so they'll be dead soon. Move you over here. So not too bad. So in this case, um, might as well get monarchy before aristocracy since I don't have much in the way of a military presence yet. Not too awful. Might as well accept an embassy. I don't have a lot of warmonger, other than England, who can be a pain in the ass, but Gandhi's all the way over there. Really surprised that he scouted west so quickly. But there we go. Need to have my scout still be a little bit alive. Can I bombard? No, I can't. That's so annoying. Well, I might as well use my unique units to their best of ability here, and I think... Having the possibility of getting this gold here may settle the idea that my settler wants to settle up here. Although one, two, three, it's going to be a while. That gold will be in range eventually. Of course, if I go here versus here, yeah, that means one more workable fish tile and actually crabs. That's an even... Crabs! Something you actually want in a... What? No, I don't want to fortify. I want to bombard. Okay. So I think we've we are pretty well settled on where we're going to go. So that's more freshwater river. Make sure we're working the tiles we should be working. We would love to get that stone before long, but we're going to have to make these farms do for now. Although I have masonry and can't actually go for the luxury and I probably should have but we're gonna farm it up first because why not so there's a worker from Sidon I can steal which is not terrible let's go ahead and just make sure the warrior escort is good enough and unfortunately I won't be able to take this worker back this turn well, yeah I won't be able to All right, so one two up there is the superior spot and for some reason I was dumb and didn't even try and blast that guy before. So he, so now I am going to get pillaged and that's going to stink. And we have even more. And you can actually take my worker, so let's not do that. So this is where we need more gold for more defenses. Pronto. So there we go, one luxury resource pillaged, and that guy ran away, so good enough for me. And let's settle up here. Yay, multiple cities, build a granary again. 
may try and buy a library for this city, but granary comes first. And damn it, you stupid Swedish scout actually saving the day just in time. That's really annoying. So we're just going to take out our aggression on Sidon, who doesn't fear our military, but is going to fear our... Uh, maybe not, because they have an archer right there already. Ugh. That was a free worker that I shouldn't have let the Swedes get, is what that was. So I thought he may have explored to the west. That's my mistake. I should have waited one more turn. Oh well. So right here. Good enough. Low on the worker count. Really can't afford to have my uh, worker stolen from down here. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and drop you in here. We'll just go ahead and... I mean, I could try and take some... I could try and take him from side on. That's not out of the question. I mean, all they want is a trade route, and I do need to build some trade caravans after that library's done. Yeah, but with two archers there, that's not going to do. That's kind of an easy quest for a militaristic city-state, and I do have enough map presence here that I should be able to kind of make a blockade over the continent here, so... Stockholm won't be too pleased, but they can get over it. Let's just go ahead and repair. As once again, they can't get over those hills. So unhappiness, that'll have to... We'll just have to live with that for now. So choose a production. Scout is what they say I should build. Scout's going to be 13 turns. Library is what's going to happen first. So like I said, I'm going to be getting philosophy, and I want the uh, want all the perks to go with it here. should be able to get that in just a few. So I do like my third city spot much better than my second one. Pretty good. Would love to know what's kind of in this fog, but it's going to have to wait a little bit because I've only popped one scout, not two. Babylon may actually be worth building a second scout. May be worth it. We'll go ahead and send this worker up here. This area will be sufficiently improved momentarily. This is kind of the last thing. All right, so that's fixed. Back up to positive happiness, back up to actual growth. This is why I don't like settling on a floodplain because you get crappy city bonuses. It's actually 72 for a library. That's really slow. May need to try that, grow that city just a little bit faster. I really want that stone for stoneworks. There is only one good. And yeah, I'm a little behind where I'd like to be for the Great Library, but I mean, what can you do? I really don't have bronze working yet. Let's change that. Why did I think clearing the marsh was the same as clearing the jungle? I'm sure somebody somewhere laughed at me for that. Oh well. We'll get mathematics just for defensive purposes after we get bronze working, which means this worker is in fact going to go up and start improving over there. We'll fortify until healed, and then you can get back to scouting. Walls of Babylon. Good for a lot of reasons. Better to get a trade caravan first. I only have one trade route at this point. Might as well use it. Might as well make it with the city-state so I can get a little bit of growth here. Right now I'm getting no income. So that's going to have to change. Probably need to improve the mine first. Yeah, mistakes have been made this game so far. I am not the number one leadest awesome Civ player ever by any stretch of the imagination. So I do enjoy and appreciate comments and feedback from you all for anything that I do. Just in general, and that's always kind of been the case. So let's go down here. Cod's grown. See, this is where it's good to grow, and actually, I'm finally getting some gold again. So here, do we want... We want to grow in five turns. This city's going to be growing super fast. And probably need to check Babylon, too, because I'm okay with the tiles that are being worked. There's bronze working. And here's our bowman. 
let's go down here. Right, so we have two workers, which is not awesome, but it's gonna have to do. So one food, three production, pretty good. Don't want the hill, we want that. And that's gonna do for our food growth at this point. So not the fastest growing city ever, but that's what happens when you start with a bunch of plains and forests. So there's gonna definitely be some chopping going on in this city. And I've grown into some crabs. So I definitely need to get sailing. Do have a coastal city, which is pretty nice. And Babylon continues to grow. Well, at least I'm not getting overrun right now. Although I'm last place in score. And there's Belgrade. Oh my god, and I have Rome to my west too. That's fun. There's our warmongering sieve. I thought this was going to be a peaceful game. Not quite. So where do we meet Rome? You have met Belgrade. And Belgrade targets something. So Rome is around. I'm not entirely sure where or if they just walked on by. <sighs> Alright. I guess I can accept embassies with all these people just to see. But... So I just want to scout down here. It's a scout archer, which is nice that they keep that promotion. We'll keep you over here. So once that caravan's done, it may may actually be time to build a scout. Might be. Alright, so let's... They still have a trade route quest, so let's go ahead and establish it with Sidon. That's better than a, a lot of things. Can't actually establish trade routes with any major civilizations yet, so... At least I'm a little isolated, and I do have city-states get buffering some of my borders. And it's not like I've seen Attila or somebody who loves eating city-states for snacks. So we'll just go ahead and put this up here. And I said scout. Walls of Babylon, still good. Scout is probably better, as much as I don't like it, so... Wait, we'll put the water mill on first. And then we'll see if the walls are still a thing. But I should be on my way to getting some more happiness momentarily. A few more turns for the mine. Gonna have plantation hooked up, and who wants my wines? We have Caesar who has extra gold. As much as I'd love to get some gold per turn, I, w I need my sieve to keep growing. So seven, three, and not growing. Hmm. We don't want default focus. Why do we have stagnation? We should not have stagnation. There we go. Second trade route is going to be to growing that city a little faster. But in order to get that, I'm going to need to actually research sailing. The main reason I'm going for the other one first is that I really want to get a... Oh, natural wonder. There we go. Not a bad one. I've liked Old Faithful before, but I don't really need to build a fourth city at this point. Not before I get a national college, at least, and there's not too many great places for me to build a fourth city at this point. Maybe over here by the coast, but... Ugh, lots of mountains. But yeah, I do have two coastal cities, and I do have a large chunk of city in the middle, so that's not awful. So we'll get sailing after this, I imagine. Mathematics is mainly for the catapults. Courthouses are good too, but there we go. So one scout. Let's send you east. I don't typically build that many scouts. Could build a barracks as well, or a shrine. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not going for religion. Religion can be very good, very useful, but I'm gonna, I'm kind of at the mercy of my start because there's not a lot in the way of a good pantheon I could have gotten. Maybe if I really felt like settling near the desert I could have gotten uh, desert folklore, but hmm. We'll let the water mill build first and then the walls. So let's go over here. So there's Burka Burka. And first religion already founded, so see I'm already a little bit behind on there. So we do need to get one workboat, which will require sailing. But now we have a mine, and that's funny that our happiness is still still going down quite a bit. I should have uh, 
Okay, that's funny. Well, what I get sometimes is a kind of UI errors that say things like, you have two gold. No, you don't. Resource list. I have two gold, one that I'm importing. Okay, so I have a waste of a trade. How much longer on my trade? Probably with Rome and probably for another 27 turns. Okay. So that would be why that didn't go up. Well, at least I have my own gold. So most literate people, I'm still getting there. All right, may need to get open borders with this guy, maybe. But there's iron. Didn't even check to see if I had iron anywhere near my borders. It's going to be a little annoying if I don't, but not the end of the world if I don't. I'm not going to take on Leventa or try and settle a fourth city up here just to get iron. I've had some really hot, fast iron starts that ended up having no other resources. I feel like oil is going to be something that I could get now. Lighthouse would be good because I have two coastal cities, one with a bunch of fish. But we want our composite bowman first and going into engineering, so we'll do that. Don't need the iron text as much. We're going to be playing a peace monger game early because I am iron deficient. And I need to build some roads pretty soon. I need to get my econ up pretty soon. And I need to... Uh, Units maintenance cost, uh, that's only for garrison units. So we're not up to aristocracy yet. Let's get oligarchy first. Just because we do have, most of our units are garrisoned. So any extra little gold that we can get is great. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with no, I'm not interested in that trade. Let's see, the thing is that compared to so many people that I see playing on a uh, are playing on deity or something where the AIs are just getting oodles and oodles of gold. There's a start here. And what I should have done a while ago, and I feel really dumb because I talked about it and didn't even do it, is uh, it's here. So India's already losing money. Alright, so they covet lands that I own. That's fine. Muscle. Let's see if I can sell you some horses. Oops. That's not good enough. Uh -huh. Okay. Somebody here wants to buy my single horses for two gold. Go ahead. There's always one person. That's and I've had trades like this last the entire That's game. But I may have been too slow to the hook on it. There we go. Thank you, Augustus. Let us be good trade partners. Okay. If you do it multiple horses at a time, you don't get that. But that's extra four gold per turn that I could have been taking advantage of for a while, but have not. So workboat's what I need. Actually, what I really need is a library first. How's this library going? I know I said I could buy a library, but if you see from my econ here, 15 turns versus uh, 400 gold. Yeah, that's about. it's going to be a wash. With the way the city's growing, let's see, we'll actually put that there. So 19 turns. Maybe a little more justifiable if I go for the work, but we'll, we'll go... 19 turns really really slow national college i really want to have it built by turn 100 not starting to build by turn 100 but that's what happens okay so i can't actually go any further this way can i yeah i can oh that's pleasant so we're at the bottom of the world over here we'll see how much more there is to the start and where we're going because right now there will be nice bloody mischief before long but it looks like with no iron ancient era warfare is not really going to be in the cards but i do have with the uh composite bowman coming i'm going to have some really nice defenses so that's a plus and let's just go ahead and see rome i have enough trades with you that you'll probably not want to hurt me too much that's really interesting that Rome's all the way up there. Are they on their own little island? Three things are to be looked at. It's very strange. It's got to be connected from up here. So we'll go ahead and see if we can make that connection. And some more pastures. And it looks like I was gifted a unit from Sidon. Thank you, Sidon. Do I actually want to give you a gift? I don't have the money to give a gift. All right. Well, I got a catapult anyway, so that's better happiness and all that. So there's London. 
I see London, blah, blah, blah. It's immortal, so I'm not going to be getting much in the way of uh, world wonders or anything. That's okay. Once again, just trying to watch for what units are working here. Production focus, population two. But I wanted that tile locked, so there we go. It's like, hang on a second. I really want that library built. Alright, so seeing Prague. Hello, Prague. That's here. Can I buy a cargo here? I can buy a caravan. It's going to be a little slow. Okay, I know I'm building walls of Babylon right now. That's going to be a little bit lower priority. National College still needs one. That caravan should make things work a little bit faster. Don't like really working the uh, hill there as nice as the two production is. Probably need to put a something on that hill. And I'm going to need roads before long too. And I'm going to need happiness before long. There's Almady, more gold. Not too awful. I mean, I've done worse. Wine for ivory is fine. Otherwise, I go into negative happiness. And good, one of my immediate... It's always my immediate neighbor, it seems, that builds the Great Wall. So I'm glad that's not the case this game. Alright, so do I build a road now? I think it's probably best... As good as these tiles are for working. Did that farm actually finish? Yeah. A little bit glitchy. Let's go and go up here. Alright, so we're just going to try and see how far east we can poke, which is apparently not very far. So I know there's somebody around India as well. So Gandhi's in the medieval era, one era closer to nukes. And we'll see what's down here. Like I said, I'm feeling pretty close to, uh, there we go. This is going to be really weird if the map just hooks all the way up here, which it looks like that might actually be what's happening. In that case, I may just need to bring this archer back over here and around because Gustav is going to be my front line for this. All right, but we are probably, in fact, um, next turn. Yeah, there we go. We want you here. So I'm going to trespass. How cool is that? We have we have some really we have some really good cities. We have some really eh cities. I have like I said, I just want a library to build here. And that library suddenly going pretty fast. So that's good. My cities are going to probably outgrow my happiness output because I do have one waste of a trade here. Do I have any excess wine at this point? No, I don't. So three wine exports, two horse exports. Don't need another city because that's going to be a pretty significant happiness hit. Do need to start connecting these cities with roads just to make that work out. So there's an additional trade route. There's an additional scout. And you know what? I am actually going to buy a caravan. Since I'm not buying a library anyway. There we go. And what do we get here? Probably... If we go this way, we can start going for education. And that should be good enough by the time the uh, National College is done. And the reason I want education is because things like universities, things like Oxford universities, if I can get them early and start getting some uh, science specialists in there, that's going to really help my... Uh, people's unique ability to generate great scientists a lot faster so Nebuchadnezzar is good like that question is I don't have shit for beans with the trade routes that I can make so far so we'll go and see maybe I can get a land route down there so let's see one two three not too much else to improve so let's start the road from up here All right. So as soon as I start the uh, great, not great, it's not going to be a great library, it's just going to be, oh uh, yeah, we want to actually grow this city a little faster. So might as well start the road here. Might as well 
Burke is pretty good. Not as much gold as I'd like. But we get a few science. Which is pretty nice. Interesting that they're so far ahead. But I'll get back I'll get back in line once uh that library's done and once that library's done, which is pretty soon, which once a minute again means the Great Walls of Babylon are just not going to be started very soon. But it looks like I'm gonna be well on my way to getting at least not overrun by an early AI ball of death. So there's our Indian neighbors and still no sign of how to get to Rome. I'm really confused by that. So library's done. Water mill's good. Military's pretty good. Worker's not awful. But we'll go with the water mill. Which means as soon as I can start the anything to help production for this city will be good. So one, two, getting there. So like I said, as soon as I can start building the uh, National College, that's where I'm going to go ahead and cut this video. I li like I said, I like having it done by turn 100, not having it start by like turn 90. I mean, I could probably go for an even faster start if I just improve my play just a little bit. But you get what you can, right? So let's here. I have four more horses I could be trading. I have happiness problems. I need gold. I need resources. I got a national wonder. That's good. Natural wonder. So let's see here. Trade. Do you still want some more horses? No, you don't. Do you want any more horses? Somebody buy my horses, please. Here we go. Thank you. You stole my worker, now you buy my horses. I know I'm calling it my worker. Nope. Absolutely. So it's here. They have zero gold per turn, so screw that. It's like my horses aren't as valuable as they used to be. That's okay. Oh, well, you're, you'll still buy. Very well. Go ahead. Alright. One more time. It may be a little bit gamey to do this, but you know what? It's immortal. You gotta get the advantages that you can here. So, one horse is all right. Babylon National College time. So this is a well defended city. It does have a catapult for defense, which is pretty good. Eighteen turns is decent. I can probably get a little closer just by uh, limiting the growth of my city just a little bit. So let's hear fifteen turns. It's about as good as I'm going to be able to do for now, so that's not terrible. And I can send a worker back down here to improve these spices. That's probably more important than the road, actually. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. This is Way to Fail with more Civ 5, where it's always just one more turn, and what's going to be happening next is seeing if we can kind of catch back up in tech with our uh, superior researching skills and our superior national college. Maybe, hopefully, even getting Oxford... Uh, university and slingshotting into something ridiculous but i hope you enjoyed it that's it for now see you next time with more civ 5 as always leave comments feedback in the comments because i know some of you all are dd players and know a little bit more than i do about this so i'm happy to take feedback take care